Hey guys, it's Craig Dodd with Wilderness Systems. I'm super excited today. Um, I got to meet Tim Parks and Dave Allen with Boondocks at the Tennessee Fishing Expo uh, back in the winter. And let me tell you, this landing gear system they have, it, it solves a lot of problems. So today, I'm gonna do an install video on the Wilderness Systems Attack 120. open here's our instructions I'll run through the parts real quick we've got the two knuckles we've got the spacer, spacer bars 9 inch and 17 inch spacer bars depending on which one you need of course we have the stainless legs and then we have the vacuum plates and of course the two wheels and the lock pins for the wheels so let's figure out where we're going to mount this thing. Initially, um, it looks like the best place to put this would be right here on this lip. Like this. It looks great here, and it's out of the way. You know, it's between the black pack and between the seat. The problem I have, though, is that in the, in the down position, it's fine. It's cleared everything. There's plenty of room. Um, the problem is when you want to put it up, it wants to hit back here, and you can't get it in the slot. And storing it like this is an option, but this is where I have all my rod holders, and this would really be in my way. So what I think I'm going to do is pull the black pack up and mount it behind the black pack so it's completely out of the way. Um, it's kind of, you know, in a way wasted space behind the black pack. So, so that'll work perfect. So let's try that and see what it looks like. All right, so if we move to the back, um, the best thing about the Attack 120 is you can turn the black pack um, in any direction. So what that does, I'm, I'm turning it, you can call it sideways, depends on what sideways means to you. Um, basically, it gives me two good flat spots back here to mount these knuckles. And I really like where these are sitting right here. It sits pretty flat. Uh, right here behind the black pack, I even have room for rod holders back here. So, get a quick measurement. We're in exactly uh, 24 inches there. So, Turn this over. I'm going to put in these uh, hex head locking screws. Basically, it, it mounts the knuckles to the spacer bar and keeps it straight and keeps it in, in position. I kind of call that hand tight right there. Take my measurement. Four inches. Double check everything. Okay, I'm going to tighten down the hex screws all the way and then we'll start uh, marking holes and drilling holes. Alright, since we decided uh, where we're going to put the landing gear, I decided to put it behind the black pack. I put the uh, knuckles up here, figure out exactly where I wanted it. Now, I'm going to make sure I put the mounting plate on here to make sure it's not going to hit anything else and there's plenty of room for the whole mounting plate. And I've, I've drilled one hole, I got that one. Got my holes drilled. With this access you can reach um, where you can put your backing plate underneath. It's not easy, but um, if you get your elbow in there, you can reach your arm around and do it. So I'm going to put some uh, sealant. This is just some all-purpose um, silicone. Put some in the holes here. Put 
Put some on the bolt too. Get a little messy, but. Keep that loose and we'll do the other side. All right guys, after deciding to put it behind the black pack, um, I decided this would be the best place for me. A lot of guys might want it up here or even here, but these spots are hard to access. Even through here, you know, it's really hard to, you know, to get to these, to get to this spot to put that backing plate on. Um, I chose back here in the back. You can access it um, from here. It's not necessarily easy, um, but, this is probably the furthest back I can get this, uh, probably about the limit. So, you gotta stick your arm straight in and then turn, and then you can reach the backing plate to be able to, to get it on. So, like I said, it, it wasn't easy to get it on there through the back hatch, but um, definitely um, the best place to put it on the Attack 120, in my opinion. Alright, we got the landing gear bolted in, I got that kayak on the floor. And now I'm going to uh, slide the wheels on with these locking pins and uh, show you how it works. So you put one pin here. That, slide the wheel on. Get the other pin in. That. And then this, this position here, it just slides in with the slot. That would be the you know, uh, stone position. And you can keep it like this on the water, or you can actually take the wheels off completely when you get fishing. Now, when you want to move the kayak, you unscrew this, slide it out here, get the kayak, get it right in, lock this back. And same thing on the other side. Loosen this. Slide it out. Sit up. And you're good to go. Same thing on the other side. And there you go. Boondocks landing gear.